why build green? We all know about man-made climate change with its impacts like forest fires, flooding, heat waves and extreme weather. Then there's pollution of the air, water and land, the loss of natural habitats and the extinction of wildlife, and a host of other environmental problems. What all these crises have in common is that they result from the unstoppable growth of our global economy based on fossil fuels. Simply put, human beings are now using more than ever before of nearly everything. And despite occasional setbacks, consumption just keeps on growing. But you can't have endless growth on a finite planet. And now we're starting to see what happens when we come up against the limits to growth. Unless we make a conscious choice to shift to a sustainable economy sooner rather than later, then we face uncontrollable collapse. Among the various sectors of the economy, buildings and construction account for a giant share between 35 and 40% of energy and emissions. One building material in particular is a big challenge because it's far more widely used than any other, namely concrete. Globally, we use 32 billion tons of concrete every year. That's a third of everything we make on Earth. And its active component, cement on its own, is responsible for 8% of all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. There's no question then that the building industry needs to change radically. The question is how? In this series of videos, we'll be exploring ways of building that are more environmentally sustainable, while also creating healthy and beautiful buildings for people to live and work in. For example, building with low impact natural materials like earth, wood and straw, as well as recycled materials, using passive design strategies that work with the sun and wind to heat, cool and ventilate buildings with minimal need for fossil fuels, using ecological methods to treat wastewater, building green roofs, walls and facades that can help insulate and cool the building while also providing a haven for biodiversity, and finally practicing indoor agriculture and other more sustainable ways of growing food.